Okay, so here's the cart. I've finished it. It's got exposed there. I've got the little spool, spindle, holy thing here, wheelie thing, this side. Yeah. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is going to take out the, the loose end, fold it over, and then I'm going to twist this back until it clicks to break the... Um, yeah, you got it. You, you heard it click. I'm sure you heard it click. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jam this little bit of wire in here. So I'm going to try and put that pin in there. I'm jamming the... Um, there you go, that's it, well done, lovely. I'm jamming the uh, piece of metal wire in there so you can, it, it forces the um, little foot down so you can get access to the film here, it comes out. So I've broken the thing inside there which stops the film coming out. So the film was coming out nice and loosely here. And now this is this. This is the bottom part of the um, spiral. So. This side here is the emulsion, and these sprocket holes need to go down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to hold the film while I load the spiral. So if you look, the, the circular bit is on the outside here, in my left hand, and the sprockets are down and the emulsion is out. So I'm going to pull a bit out. Normally you'd do this in complete darkness, obviously, uh, and I going to put it in the first little hole here. There's two holes here. I'll put it in the, in the first one out and round. So it's sort of secure in there. And then I turn the um, bottom of the spiral round. Now, uh, turn it round. So if you get in close here, you can see, hopefully, that the film is going into the groove. Yeah, that's it. You can come out a bit now, Oscar, that's it. The film is going into this groove here. Right, so it's starting to go into the groove. Now I pull the film out to the edge here, up to the edge. You see that the, the film is actually lying flat. I've got the film lying flat. So what will happen is that, that as this turns, if you get in here, shoulder here as this turns look you can see it's gradually going into okay yeah that's it it's going gradually going into this uh, groove here so let's just turn it back here so what you want is imagine that this is in front of you directly here like a clock at 12 o'clock so you want this here at 12 o'clock you want this down, pulled down here, put the whole thing in. Just try and get the whole whole spiral in, Oscar, please. Yeah. Um, and this is flat. I'm holding it flat. And the, the car is actually sitting on the um, table here. Flat, can you see? Yeah. Okay. So um, whilst it's like that and this is taut, I'm going to put the lid on, the top on. Put this in here, and then put this in here, and screw it tight. Um, so you've got it in. Uh, yeah. Yeah, get the whole thing in. Yeah. Let's zoom in. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I don't need to see. I'm just looking. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. So um, that's that's screwed on. Now I'm just going to turn the spiral whilst leaving the cartridge where it is. And as you can see here, this is going in flat, right? So it, it, that's how you get it in to the spiral. And I'm just gently turning this um, here. Now, once you've got a few uh, a part of it done, you can feel in with your fingers to say that that's going on nicely. I turn the cartridge round, and as you can see, I'm, I'm resting it on two fingers here. I'm angling it. If you want to come around this side, you might be able to see better. 
I'm resting it on a couple of fingers here. I'm angling it, but it's still flat. The film is going in flat. So now I'm just, all I'm doing is I'm turning the spiral and as I'm turning it, I'm holding the cart and the film is coming off the take up reel inside the cart and onto the spiral. And uh, it's turning quite well because I'm using one of these cheap plastic Lazy Susans, but you don't have to have one. You could have a record deck or you could just um, put it straight onto your whatever surface you're using. Uh, this just makes it a little bit easier. So you can keep feeling to make sure in complete darkness that this is going on the spiral. Now, the two points where it's going to go wrong are at the beginning when you first try and load it on and as you get towards the outer part of the spiral that's the other point where it can start to go wrong usually around this point I then put on the main um, this, this top part here I don't do it at the beginning because uh, I want to make sure it's nice and tight uh, and don't over tighten this because then you won't be able to get it out to begin with let's just make that nice and tight yep so then we can continue loading the spiral always keeping this flat so that it slides into the gap laying flat and then gradually and then into the groove where it is 90 degrees. Right, hold there so you can pull it out and then gently. Finish loading it. So you won't be able to do this in the dark because you won't be able to see, but um, I can feel there by feeling. Oops, so there's no kinks, there's no bits that are raised, etc. etc. It's gone on nicely. If you feel around here that it hasn't gone on, you know, don't just say, oh, no, it doesn't matter. You can take it off. Right, go back until you can feel that uh, where the problem is, where the, the kink is or the issue. Yeah, just take the whole thing off uh, as far as you can, or as far as you need to, sorry. And then you can gently, yeah. So you're holding it flat and you're just guiding it into the, um, the groove. So the two points it will go wrong is at the beginning or at the end here. So if you get it right at the beginning, you've got a good chance of getting it right. If you get it wrong at the beginning, you're fucked. You won't be able to get it right. Uh, and that's it. End of.